So listen, I am in Harvey Nichols today and I've been invited down to come and have a look at some brands. But I'm here with... Alex. Alex, good to meet you, bro. How you doing? Nice to meet you, brother. <laughs> right, man. So look, you're going to take me on a little tour today and we're going to look at some brands and you're just going to give me a bit of knowledge and history. Or... Knowledge, bit of history. Exactly. Like the stuff that the clients love about it. <laughs> but the good thing with Harvey Nichols mm. is you get to sell everything. Mm. So even though I've been looking after Ralph Lauren, yeah. I know a bit of everything about every brand. And likewise, as you said, you're starting at a more elevated luxury price point. Yeah. Then you're going into like a premium price point. Mm. Then you're going into like an entry level price point, yes. which is perfect to me. Yeah. So I know a bit of everything. Yeah. Because then people don't get left out, right? You don't have to feel like you can come here and you need to have the big boy cheese to come and uh, yeah, to come and like do your a, shopping, you know? It's not like a boutique. It's not scary. It's exclusive. Exclusive? Would yeah. you say it's exclusive? Um, I know, I know the word. It's like a... Uh, for inclusive. everyone. Yeah, yeah, inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Inclusive. <laughs> but you do exclusive stuff as well anyway. <laughs> we do, yeah. Everyone's welcome. You don't want anyone to feel scared yeah. to come in there. Like, sometimes you go into a boutique, the minute you get in there, mm, you can you feel, feel a bit, pressure yeah. to buy something expensive because you feel the eyes are on you. <laughs> I think everyone's experienced that at yeah. some point, man. So this is one brand that people have been talking a lot about. And it's um, Represent. It's not too loud, but then if you look at the details, there's still something about the pieces. Yeah. Or what I feel that people don't really realise about Represent is I think they feel like it's a lot of these type of... You know, Represent do a lot of these type of prints, which a lot of brands do. But actually, there's a lot of standout pieces that like this, which are a little bit different. It's a mixture. Mm. It's a good mixture, as you said. And what um, people love about Represent, mm. they get the fits just right, you know? Yeah. It's just right, the fits. So, you know, everyone's going oversized, but how oversized you are? <laughs> <laughs> but they seem to just get the cuts just right. Yeah. And the quality is as good. The quality is not too far off as well. Like, it's still really well amazing. made and well woven qu um, quality. So, Actually, it's really good. Amazing. Stuff like this, I really, I really like stuff like that. This is amazing. That's so nice for me. And you would rock that to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I, like I can that. see straight away from your outfit. You yeah. This off. Yeah, that's that's my style. Though. That's but for me, nice. mm. I say a real standout piece. Mm. Oh, I tell you what, we actually got some exclusives here. Is this part of the new new collection now? Is it SS? This is new season. This is all new season now. Right. But, um, but we used to have some exclusive pieces when <clears throat> you see this. We used to have this in like a bright blue. Right. And that's just clean. Even though there's a lot going on with the prints. Yeah. The way they've placed it. Yeah. It's still a clean look. Mm, good and quality you know, print you can as well. Outfit that like that. Yeah. It's a cargo, but it's a nylon cargo. Mm. <laughs> you don't get it's a lightweight, isn't it? Yeah. Super lightweight. The zip pockets there, but then it's got the clean arm oh, right there. Lots of detail. It's perfect, man. Yeah. No, nice. And this is another one that I've been keeping an eye on as well. Is um, MKI? Oh. MKI. I've actually yeah. got a bit of um, history about MKI actually. Okay. So MKI, have a look at this one. Yeah, so I like MKI, that one. funnily enough, mm -hmm. there's a couple guys from Leeds that started this. Yeah. But when it first came in, mm -hmm. everyone thought it was a Japanese brand. Yeah. Because they were influenced by Japanese subculture. Like if you go to Japan, yeah. they're so I don't say all fashionistas, they, but the yeah, way they put their fashion yeah, together. Yeah, together, but I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. It's like next level. Yeah, it's like, and, and it's it's so effortless as well. It's, it's not it's not even like they're trying hard. This is like it's natural. Hard. So you love this piece, feel I, that? Yeah, that's that's my style. Incredible. Totally, I love stuff like this. Yeah, and then it's double panelled. Super, yeah, super so you, warm. Sometimes with fleece fabrics, you get that kind of irritation on your skin. I know what you mean. Yeah, on the so insides. They've double panelled that, so you nice. don't get any of that. Sick. That's 95. 95 pounds. Yeah. That's that's great. That, yeah, no, I like that. I'll be honest, MK is one of my favourite brands, yeah. to be fair. This this kind of fluffy stuff seems to be really in at the moment, or is it is it me? I've just seen a lot of brands seem to be doing stuff like this now. Be fair, yeah, I think the designers they're really picking up on stuff like this. Mm -hmm. I know um brands like Celine and Dior have had a few runway pieces and then obviously it just sprinkles down every every designer yeah. has their own take on it starts it, yeah, at the yeah, top yeah. and it kind of sprinkles down yeah. to the bottom doesn't it but i like what they've done with that it's still yeah like still the done in the mk way yeah it's nice the nylon pocket there that's my that is yeah clean on the inside it's not going to irritate you yeah and it's treated already sometimes you get these fleece fabrics mm. and then they bubble straight away yeah you can really tell that's already been treated mm. very nice i love the color i love the color as well like this one is really nice. Oh, yeah, try one on and see what that's. The way they actually fit. Sometimes, you know, things they don't come to life until you put them on. True. When you put them on, 
see from my side. And plus I did a back quick, of a bit quick more release well. vodka. Boom. Do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me a bit of the Montclair Meyer a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. I Obviously love the style of, of this. Price, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, how much was that one? This one should be 120, no? 160. 160. I think that's fair, man. I think that's fair. Yeah. Oh, Wax London. I actually, um, I visited this. They got a store over in Soho. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went um, to them. Which was quite nice, actually. You may have, well, I don't know if you may have seen me, but I went to when they launched Spring Summer 24. Mm -hmm. So I went to the store and actually met um, the guy that started it. Oh, you met some of the owners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. These guys, the these guys are big for overshirts and they're kind of flannel shirts, right? Yeah. The guy started the brand. Yeah, that suits you, His man. His granddad was called, well, his second name was Whiting. So it's something to do with the heritage of the brand. Oh, okay. But the beautiful thing about these fabrics, mm -hmm. especially the Jacquard, mm -hmm. when they started the brand, they went to so many mills in Paris. Yes. And they finally found a mill where they actually loved the fabric. But that fabric was an archive fabric. It was an mm. archive fabric because they ah. got the mill to remake that fabric. Wow. Just for so every time you see a jacquard, they do them every season. And I you know what? This is what I love about brands like this. And sometimes I think is missing from a lot of brands is when they kind of really go into the detail, really right. think about the materials, sourcing materials from different places, construction. I just feel like there's a lot of effort that has gone into this brand. Oh man, look at that. They've just had their 100 year um, anniversary recently. Yeah, yeah. I, loved, I love this brand. Actually, that was a great jump actually, because just like we were talking about with N07 where the stuff's clean. Mm. That's a really nice one that yeah, you selected. Very nice. Talking about overshirts. Yeah. There's a bit of everything, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know what this reminds you of actually? What's that? This is like a cp company stone island exactly where it's known for that high level quality yeah you got your hook there you got your pocket there obviously seeing it mm -hmm. doesn't really do it justice it's so soft <laughs> it's so lightweight very well made. and this is perfect for spring because it's just going to block the wind spring is not actually that cold when you think about it it's the yeah, wind it's the wind when that the wind keeps you cold <laughs> then it's cold that's really in trend over the last um, five or six years. Mm -hmm. That one pocket, jacket, overshirt, mm. <laughs> and that's for every age. Yeah. So it's nice to see that both stuff have had their own little twist on that. Really nice. Nice and clean. You've got the little hook there to keep it shaped. Right. Some of that Gantt brought into um, oh, into the world of fashion. I never knew that work that was that was yeah. for. So, that little vent thing you see there. Yeah. That's what Gant started off. You know, oh. Gant they started off a shirt, a shirt maker. Right. Okay. And to differentiate himself, he mm. wanted something that would keep the person's shape. Okay. At the same time, got you, I got you. Luxurious. Make you look a bit broad yeah. in the back. Okay. I think um, outerwear, knits, polos, shirts. But where Bell stuff really, really excel, I think people don't. Some people might not know is their their jackets, their wax jackets, like this one. Oh, yeah. This is like a real classic Let's bring this piece. To the, bring this to the forefront. This is, as you know, we're talking about staple pieces. Yeah. This is one of the staple pieces. Yes. And whenever you get a staple piece, it's going to be the highest, highest quality because each year they're just going to make that staple piece better mm. and better mm. and better. As you said, when you're looking at a wax coat, this is absolutely it's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, man. Trailmaster. Okay. Harvey Nichols have a wider selection online as well, right? Yeah, well, you'll find that online easily. The mm. um, thing with that jacket, similar with the Road Masters and Trial Masters, because that's what Bell Stuff's known for. Yeah. So we might not have that many in store, mm -hmm. it sells out quite well, mm -hmm. but we'll have the options online. Online. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Paul Smith. Oh man, Paul Smith, you were saying earlier, it's very elevated, but it's got a, something for everybody. Yeah. So you like, look at this piece. Because you've got PS, this is PS by Paul Smith, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's a nice holiday piece. And that's a nice waffle fabric to yeah. me. I don't know why I thought Barcelona when I saw that. This could be Barcelona, Barcelona Beach. This could be Mexico. Yeah. This could be Colombia. I like that. Anywhere warm and satisfying. Yeah. This is what, that's what Paul Smith's known for, you know? Yeah. And he always adds his little um, twists and turns to this. He, he's one of the designers that have really done well for the UK scene, man. He is 
iconic. Yeah, it's exactly. That's the word. Iconic. iconic. Yeah. I'm so. Was you gonna pick that piece out? I'm so glad he was gonna pick that one out. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> Mate, I love this. I love the tracksuits, and they're such good quality as well. This is what I would say. Mm. It's simple but elegant. Mm. I don't know how you can put those two words together, but they they found a way. Yeah. Like look at the look at how they've done the drawstrings. Yeah. A nice dark blue, silver finish, tints on there. Yeah. With your inlets. Because a lot of times when you get tracksuit bottoms, mm. if this isn't done correctly, eventually this comes out. Mm. When this is done correctly, it doesn't come out. That's the beautiful thing about Paul Smith. Yeah. Um, and look, it's got the uh, it's got the ah oh, the matching. You got the matching set yes. for that. Oh yes, okay. that would, yeah, I love that. That's a winner. That is so nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so that's the PS. Mm -hmm. Then obviously they got the classic. Classic Paul Smith. Paul Smith. But this is my favourite piece. Oh man, that's my style right there. Very, very. I love side. stuff like this. Oh my god. And you know what? I bet the lining. They've always done nice to make the lining. Wow, look at that. Very nice. And look at the, look at the cut detail here for the tapering. I'll tell you something actually nice. cool about Paul Smith. Go on. Even though the pieces are clean, mm -hmm. he always adds, if you notice, yeah, a bit of colour. I always. He's got to do something. And it's, it could be so tiny. That's his signature. Yeah. Just a little yeah, bit yeah. of colour. Yeah, I love it. So even when it's classic, there's yeah. still that crackiness to it. There's still that yeah. touch of British. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes on the inside, like that, look, he'll just do some crazy, oh, yeah. So and that's, like, I've always remembered that from his stuff. He'll just do something on the inside which will just stand out a little bit, which is, I think is so cool, man. Uh, I, I've got this and I just love it, man. These kind of three quarter, I'm sorry, is it one quarter zips? Yeah, that's, I love stuff like that. And the good thing with this, you have this, ask yourself, how many occasions have you worn it to, whether it's something that's casual, mm. maybe something slightly elevated, maybe something both. in between. I've done both. But yeah. And it's, it's just still... It's nice on and you look the part. Yeah. Like, you can wear this and it can be casual, but then you can partner it up with this underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it can still look cool, you know? And it still looks super elevated. And, and the funny thing is, if you wanted to, you could also partner it up with... You, you could even be part of that. Or you could put it with one of the uh, one of the trousers as well. Yeah, man. Oh, there's actually a really nice tapered chino. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Look, and it still drops. It still works. You can wear this wear anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the good thing is they have it in every colorway. Yeah. So if navy isn't your thing, yeah. Grey, grey isn't your grey, thing. Black, black, black isn't your thing. Yeah. Online you'll find many different colors. There's loads colors of colors. There, there is. Styled. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. look at that. <laughs> So that is nice, man. Oh, you got to try that one on now, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that now nah, that color, and this is this is also not to take away from Paul Smith, but this is the style that Wax London does, right? They, they do these types. This is of... what Wax really came through with when they first I love started, it, man. But I'm pretty sure they've taken inspiration from Paul Smith, as you said. He's one of these iconic designers. Mm. So a lot of the things we've seen, mm. they probably have taken some motivation mm. from Paul Smith. You've been going around for that long. And what's beautiful about this, actually, wow. sometimes you get stuff that's rigid. This isn't rigid. It's just, this is free flowing. <laughs> this is the type of shirt you wear this and it just looks quality. It looks expensive. It's really well and made. It feels, it feels expensive. <laughs> it feels great. Yeah. Nidhi Jeans is one of my favorite, um, favorite jeans brands. What I love about Nidhi mm. is a lot of, um, I've worked in denim for a while as well. Yeah. A lot of these denim brands now, they're adding a lot of stretch to the jeans. Mm. And stretch is adding comfort. I love these trousers. Ethan. Ethan. Say hello, man. <laughs> oh, we were just saying we love your trousers, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Where are they from? Our yeah, dreams. Yeah, yeah. He's a Very big nice. fan of YMC as well. Yes, yeah, so a lot of brands mm. now. They're going with stretch in the fabric. Yes. And stretch is comfortable, mm -hmm. but it's not durable. Mm -hmm. Really, mm -hmm. even though there's still a little bit of stretch, so it's comfortable, mm -hmm. it's not so much stretch that it's not durable. Mm -hmm. And that's the beautiful thing about Moody. All organic, yeah. everything's organic, so it's, it's great on the planet. It feels great on. Because, Loss. let's say you bought this today, and then let's say three years down the line, 
stitching was coming out here. You can go to the store, they repair it for free. Free, yep. And if the jeans is too knackered, so let's yeah. say 15 years down the line, it's towards the end of its lifetime, what they do for you is you trade that jean in and you get something off a new pair. Oh, wow. And that's super sustainable because that jean you're giving back in, they'll rework it into a new jean. Mm. Do you think straight fits are not as well? They're not. But it's more, people like more baggy fits, just loose fits now. What, what do you think? Yeah, um, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I like slim. Um, Same. Ah, uh, they do do baggy fits. Gritty Jackson. Sick. It's a long rise. Right, a right. A super long rise. Yeah. So anything over um, 13 inches on the rise, mm -hmm. they call it a high rise. Oh. Anything um, less than 13 inches, mid rise and anything from 11 inches is, is a low rise so that's the distance between the crotch and how it yeah, hangs and down and that here. that gives you a bit more of a looser fit does it and that's what gives you the effortless look ah. so the, the longer the rise is right the more effortless it's going to look because it's going to sit lower but at the same time still fit ah, on your waist okay hence why skinnies are usually a low rise because right because they went and then yeah, right yeah, got it yeah, yeah. Ah, you taught me something new man i didn't know that um, they yeah. do other stuff yeah, yeah as you can see here yeah nice stuff look more overshirts everyone's really into these overshirts isn't it i love that color but oh that goes that will go so well with the jeans man i can just see it look i love it that with the jeans yeah. and you can open it up with a tee yeah, underneath i love it i love it i love it ah oh, six 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 yeah very nice with your um Straight cut slash effortless cut jeans. Yeah, I love this top, You've man. Got an outfit right there. Very nice. So that's that, man. Well, look, Alex, I really, really appreciate your time, man. You spent some time with us and we learned quite a lot, a lot from you but today. So I appreciate that, me, man. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so look, Pleasure. if people ever want to pop down to the store and they're looking for you, because, you know, they, they, might, they might get yeah. some great service, come can they come, the up, come and see you, yeah? Say, I saw you in Hoxton. <laughs> Name's Alex. I'll yeah. look after you. Where's man. those nudie jeans and those overshirts, man? That's nudie what they're going to be asking you. Look after you, Paul Smith. Look Wicked. after you, Wicked. Look after you, MPI. No, that is yeah. so cool, man. No, we honestly, appreciate you. Thank you for having me. I really feel, um, made me feel great, you know. That's no, what good. I all about, good. You know? Well, look, That's we could sure. see that you are, and this is what is so important for retail, is that people are passionate within the sector that they're working in yeah. and we can clearly see that you've you got the passion you know about the brands you know about your stuff so that that's that's also important well, that's for us so we're retail, thanks man it kind of gets overlooked a bit it's a people role 100 you, know? you meet new people every day yeah and you get to see different walks of life yes. and i feel that enriches me yes if that makes sense 100 percent. so you're in the and right sure business man, person, man. <laughs> <laughs> bro big respect to you man yeah man yeah man <laughs>